Good morning po sa lahat ng mga teachers. So for today, what we're going to do is I'm going to provide a detailed instruction on how to access to your on how to access your DepEd Commons because deadline na on September 21st. So that's you have to hurry up. So what we're going to do is you need to make sure that your DepEd account is working, your email and your password. If your password is not working, then go ask your whoever it is and assigns in yung DepEd email to reset your password as soon as possible. And once not and once you're able to access your DepEd email with a working password, then you can already access DepEd Commons. So what we're going to do here is step one, you need to make sure that your DepEd email and your password is working perfectly because kailangan natin yan mamaya. Now, if it's working properly, let's proceed to the next step. You have to go to the DepEd Commons website, which is commons.deped.gov.ph, and here's what you're going to see. Obviously, we don't have a password yet, so what you're going to do is just click here on the upper right, upper left, sorry, log in, and then you will see teacher account log in. Click that. And of course, same page. So since wala pa tayong password, you have to click Forgot Your Password. And once you click Forgot Your Password, you will receive this box. So dito mo na itatype yung deep a DepEd email mo. So for my case, so you have to type your DepEd email account and then click Send Me Reset Password Instructions. And once you click that, you have to go to your DepEd, DepEd email account. And here's what you're going to see. Here's what you're going to receive sa inyong DepEd email. The DepEd Commons mailer. And what you're going to do here is you need to click change my password. And once you click change my password, let's see. Pupunta ka rito. You have to change your password. You have to create your own password. You need to make sure that the requirements are met, 8 characters minimum. Write your new password and then confirm your new password. And then just click change my password. And once you're done, you will receive a notification that you did it correctly. After that, once you reset your password perfectly, you can now log in. So just enter your debit account and of course your password. Nani reset mo. And then just click log in. And here's what you're going to see. Signed in successfully. And that's what we wanted to see. So here what, here's what you're going to see here. Just your respective year levels with the respective number of activities na available. Kung zero, obviously wala pang available. But for example, I'm teaching grade 10. Once I click grade 10, there's really nothing here. Grade 10 mathematics, hmm, nada. No documents under this category. So maybe they're still working on it. But in your case, that's one of our goals here to check on those activities but the other one here is you also need to update your account so it's in the upper left so you have to click that and once you do you will be routed to update your account click profile because the credentials here you will be updated if you wanted to change your password but of course we don't need that anymore so we'll go to profile so in your profile i am you have two options there teaching or non-teaching so obviously i will choose teaching and then you have to type in your first name middle name and last name and then you will also be asked to type in your mobile number and then mobile number subscription. So prepaid or postpaid. Well, most of us are prepaid kasi nagpapaload tayo. And then current network provider. Obviously, it's either Globe, Smart, or whatever. And then your preferred prepaid network provider. I choose Globe because that's what I'm using. And then your designation, kung teacher 1, teacher 2, teacher 3, master teacher 1, or whatever designation you have. And then the school. Actually, this school doesn't appear yet. You have the option here that says assigned to school, click here. So you have to click there. You have to click the option, click here. And once you click it, that's where you will see na magpa-pop up ang option na you have to pick 
the name of your school. And once you have successfully updated all the information, just simply click update. And once you do, you will receive a notification that your information have, has been updated successfully. And that's it. You're done. You're finished with your DepEd Commons. Thank you very much.